Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to make your Windows Vista computer a little bit faster. So first we're going to have to open up our uh, computer properties. So the easiest way to do this is to right click on your computer. Uh, you can do this either through here by right clicking on this um, and then hitting properties on the desktop or if you don't have a picture of my computer on the desktop go ahead and go down to the start menu and then um, you'll see computer over here right click on that and then select properties um, it'll take you to something like this window over here um, from here on the tasks uh, side of this window hit advanced system settings um, it'll give you this permission thing and you'll just hit continue um, then it'll bring up the system properties window and for anyone who has seen my video about making Windows XP faster it's pretty much the same um, after this as it was on that so from here select the advanced tab if it's not already selected then under performance select settings it'll bring up this window and first we'll be working with this visual effects tab um, most likely, your computer is selected adjust for best appearance. Um, that will have Vista running a little bit slow, but looking pretty nice. Uh, you might think, oh, why don't I just hit let Windows choose what's best for my computer. But with most computers, it'll just end up checking all the boxes anyway. Then someone might think, select adjust for best performance but that unchecks all of the boxes and makes it look very bad but it runs very fast if you don't care about looks I would suggest clicking that but you'll see what I mean here maybe I can just demonstrate and I'll hit apply it'll take a second and you'll see it looks pretty much like Windows 98 um, so what I'd suggest doing is selecting custom and just selecting a few boxes. The most important one really is use visual styles on windows and buttons. If you hit apply you'll see it pretty much brings back the vista feel. Now with everything you see this box even when you drag it it sort of does that. So play around with some of them read all of them see which ones you like the best and then go on from there. Um, immediately after this you will see your computer is faster if you have any way of like testing the speed um, it should be faster after this and personally I think this is the easiest and um, most simplest which I guess is the same as easiest but most significant jump in speed that you can do on a Windows Vista computer if you're having trouble with speed once you have completed that simple tip, uh, the next one I would suggest doing to increase your speed on a Windows Vista computer is to play with the virtual memory. And to play with this, you do pretty much the same as you did before. You right click on the computer icon, whether it's on the start menu or the desktop, it doesn't matter as long as you get this box. And if you really can't find it, it's in the control panel, system and maintenance, and then system but obviously that's a much uh, longer way to get it um, from here select advanced system and settings just like before it will give you this little dialog box uh, then be go under the advanced tab if you're not already there same thing performance and settings um, before we were working on the visual effects tab uh, now I think we'll be working in the advanced tab uh, so what today well, what now we'll be doing is a virtual memory like I said so go ahead and hit change here um, on most when on most Vista computers this will be checked and that's gonna slow down your computer but it'll save some disk space so if disk space isn't really a matter as in like if you have a large hard drive that's what I mean by disk space hard drive space uh, and you want a fast computer uh, go ahead and uncheck this that didn't make any sense. What I mean is you're sacrificing a little bit of hard drive space for a little bit more speed. Um, and then go over here and hit custom size. And then just put in whatever you think makes sense. Um, I don't really know what to recommend. 
go ahead and look on Google. A lot of people say uh, that it really has to do with your hard drive. Before, I thought it had to do with your RAM, but I'm pretty sure I was wrong. But I think normally um, like the ratio of RAM to hard drive is like around the same. So if you if you really don't know, just like double your RAM. Um, so right now I'm on my MacBook, and yes, I'm using Boot Camp, and it's working fine. So I have two gigs of RAM. So I could put four thousand. So yes, so you pretty much should just double it. That's what I think. I don't know if that is going to help at all play around with other things it recommends me around three three thousand so it's not that far off then hit OK so it says that you need to restart your computer so I'll do that later uh, this one you might not find an immediate change in speed but maybe with like loading applications or something like that uh, it may seem a little bit faster Thank you for watching and please visit my website at howtofourcomputers.com. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and while you're there, check out a couple of my other videos. Thank you.